How's it going, everyone? I'm Nostalgia Dave, and welcome back aboard the Nostalgia Train. I'm pretty sure I speak English. Or English. <clears throat> okay, maybe a little bit of Espanol, but not by much. Mainly English. English subtitles, please. Have you played this family parable before? Actually, I have. Please adjust the slider. Actually, it's good where it is. Please enter the current time. 7.24. Or are we going by military time here? Nope. And it's PM, so 7. Oh my gosh. That's so much clicking. <laughs> Note. Accessibility settings can be accessed from the main menu. Cool. I don't care. <laughs> I just want to. I came into this to piss a narrator off. That's all I want. Okay, maybe I won't do it at first. Let's begin the game. Yeah, welcome back aboard the Minnesota Train, everyone. And welcome to the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. I figured I'd do this one since it's way more common and I'm using PlayStation for it. Because I like seeing achievements. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee Any number 427, eh? job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427, and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders it, came to wouldn't you know it, i do that too. <laughs> telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every others might have considered it soul winning um i i sure i guess but though he had been made i probably need to lar uh, enlarge those letters don't i was happy. And so it's a sort of kind of man who's happy pushing buttons all day something long. that would forever change stanley i don't care he never quite forget he had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. Okay, I will admit that's a lot of persistence. Call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was okay. very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, <clears throat> he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Alrighty then. I guess I could do that. I hate... I'm assuming that says I hate Mondays. Does that say... Is that an M on the side? Can I see the side of the cup, please? No. Alright, fine then. I'm assuming it says I hate Mondays, and if that's the case, me too, buddy. Me too. Um, can I jump? Mm, doesn't look like it. Well, it's bogus. I think, is it? So, in the original version, I remember there was an achievement that tells you that you can get for constantly trying to jump. I guess X is the button that... Yeah. Throw up here and you can't jump. Dang it! Ooh! Plus All another his workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go uh, to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Can I scan my butt? This printer looks like it's very butt applicable. Can I scan my butt? <laughs> no. <laughs> um. Oh please. Wait, Are you what? really just doing this for the trophy? Oh, right. That... Time. Is that all you think a trophy is worth? No, 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 no. Ma maybe. I can't just give these merits away for such little effort. A measly five clicks. Yeah, why not? I suppose you were to click the door 20 times. I would say that's the kind of effort that warrants recognition. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 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 I have to say, I'm still not feeling the satisfaction of witnessing true effort for a noble... If you say 50 clicks, I swear, I'm going to smack... Yes, almost certainly 50 clicks. 
If I ever see you in person, I'm going to smack you. Okay, as far as, like, the letters go, showing the subtitles, let's make them about that big, actually, yeah. Alright, fine, a-hole. I don't know if this... No, 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 no. I'm that was not 50 you. times. I want this trophy to have meant something. It, it does. A true reward for valiant effort. I want to see some hustle, Stanley. I want to see but, commitment, but, a willingness to go all the way no matter the cost. But I thought, why don't you go put twenty clicks into door number four one seven? I, I thought this was supposed to be the uh, one of the laziest trophies. Oh man, you make me do all this work. Uh, walking like twenty steps to do, push a button twenty times and then do what? Ooh, great. Now. Go click a few times on door 437. Backtrack? Oh, you suck. <laughs> you suck, dude. Excellent. I think we're getting somewhere. Can now, I... door 415. Let's give it 10 clicks or so. How about scanning my butt against the scanner instead? Can that count for something? Can, can, will, will, will that do something? Who farted? Um... It was it was the printer. It was the very old school printer. Wait, four. Crap! I wasn't paying attention. I wasn't paying attention to which room. Dang it! Now back to door number four three seven. Okay then. I don't know what I just did, but sure. That. <laughs> four three seven. Four three seven. Four three seven. Four three. Ooh. Let's see. How about you click on? Well, I don't know. The copy machine. Can I scan my butt on it instead? Scanning my butt on the copy machine. If I can't do that, can I scan it on the telephone? L look look at that. It's such a neon green telephone. It, it needs butt prints all over it. All right. Back to room 417. I'm really feeling it now. I think we're getting somewhere. Where are we getting? What are we getting off of all this? It's a bunch okay. of dork. Now go climb on employee 419's desk. Okay. Yes. This is great. You're putting it all on the line, Stanley. I like that. All right, <laughs> let's keep it up. Go give me a few clicks on door 416. All right. 416, 416, 416, 416. We've almost got it. Oh, now you're excited. Now the copy machine, do that one again. He's excited over a copy machine. Finish it up, Stanley. Five clicks on door 430. Didn't he say at the beginning that the trophy was for clicking on four three zero five times? Yes, we did it. Oh wow! So I mean, That's I guess amazing. yeah, I got a trophy for clicking on it five times, just after a bunch of other effort that's not necessary. Shut up! I'm proud too, but I'm not proud at the same time because I didn't get to put my butt on anything. <laughs> I'm. I want my butt sticking against something. Maybe, I don't know, maybe the filing cabinets? Butt prints on the filing cabinets. Dang it! <laughs> Alright, fine. I don't think there are many other trophies we can do right now, so... Moving on. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Tell you what, buddy. I'll listen to you this time. But next time... Next episode, we're going to start doing our own thing. Whatever the hell we want. Yet, there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. It's butt print heaven! <laughs> You're going to put my butt prints on everything. On this. On this. <laughs> You know, rub my butt prints against these things, I guess. I could try. <laughs> yeah, it's not working. Never mind. Butt print heaven sucks. Ooh. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got nope. back on track. Nah, -uh. nah. I'm staying in this broom closet right here. You can't make me stop. There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow. 
just an empty broom closet. There is one thing I can do in here. You already know what I'm going to say. Alright, fine. I won't say it because you could probably already tell I was going to say it. But at least let me say for this. Butt print in the broom bucket. There's the mob bucket. doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. <laughs> okay, okay, you know what? I'll give you that one. Are you are you really still in the broom closet? Believe it or not, yes. Why? I am dead. I need some explanation here. I'm I'm genuinely confused. I butt pressed my butt into the the bucket that's behind me, and I died doing it. I died a happy man. You do realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. That's fair. The curtain, <laughs> because literally, this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. Are you I sure? Never would have thought to mention it. I mean, I know you wrote the story and all, but are you sure it has nothing to do with the story? There's a lot of tools in here. Maybe to Frickin you, this is somehow its own branch and part. Maybe look at when you go talk about this with your friends, you'll say, Ow! Did you get the broom closet ending? The broom closet ending was my favorite. Yeah! Your friends find this concerning. Hey! Okay, now I want to stay in here even longer. I was considering going out, just maybe. Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. He probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid <laughs> he is. That all with drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. Are you getting this from seeing my... You, you saw my old school butt print of as a teenager, didn't you? I, well, I get I it. It was really big. I'm sorry. What's going on right now? You're dead. You got, you got it. You finally got it. Explored it a bit, and we're just about to leave because there's nothing here. When a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system, and you collapse in front of your screen. That is very dark, like but who knows? Responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. Hello, anyone who happens to be the person at this computer is dead. They have fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. It's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place, making sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video well. gaming, so that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. What? Right. When you've done that, just step out into the hallway. I guess I can't really do that, because it just didn't happen with me. All right, fine. Ah, second player. Yeah. I have you on board. I guarantee you can't do any worse than the person who came before you. Try me. Hey, watch this. Ooh, broom closet. There must be something useful in here. You too? Unbelievable. Yeah. At the mercy of an entire species of invalids. Hey. A monkey nearby. You can I know I'm stupid, but I'm not that. Fish, fungus. Look, you can hammer out the details. I'm not particularly picky. I'll just be waiting for when you're ready to pick up the story again. Fine. Okay. I think that was the last thing that's supposed to be like a secret ha ha moment thing. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Alright. Going upstairs to boss's office because I might be in big doo doo trouble. What does that say? Can I. Ah, there we go. Business time. Are hostile takeovers the new uh, B1 annual percentage? Hostile takeovers? Oh, that doesn't sound good at all. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What he could Play not have known 
was at the keypad behind the boss's desk, right. guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. Two, but of course, eight, Stanley couldn't possibly four, have known this. Five. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to That's enter dark. the correct code by sheer luck. And okay, there it is. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Sure, and there's nothing here. Okay. Let's go down. Alright, time to press my butt against the buttons. I mean, there has to be a reason that it's called a button. I mean, I can't. It has to. It must have something to do with my butt. No? Alright, fine. <laughs> Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his I think chest, it's working. As though he felt Wait, more what was that? To think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Maybe it's a different ending. Now, I have to go back up and something. Yes, it had never occurred to him. This I'll have to look question that. Look would not that. go unanswered for long. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. But it it, it says this, it, it it's escape it, it fine. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with yeah. television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? It's Stanley a lot of LED TVs. Did he have the strength find out how large is this company now the monitors jumped to life their true nature revealed each bore the number of an employee in the building okay Stanley's 600 employees the of so many individuals wow to images on a screen and Stanley one of them eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant Sheesh. nothing Okay, I could go down there. I think that's a glitch, but I think I heard that. I think I've heard that that's also an ending to this new game, so I'm not gonna do that. This I'll save it for later. Facility. It was too horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only Hello? reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Nah. The reason for that is just it was boring no, overall anyway. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? To answer one of those questions, yes, it is but technically it possible, the heart but of the operation. not in this time era. With emotions, happy or sad or content, walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley in decided that? that this machinery would never ah, again exert its, same its okay. terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. You mean like this? All right. Bug prints and farts are on it. Let's turn it off. Yeah, it broke. It definitely worked. <laughs> okay. Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? He had won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. Yay! Yay! Even as Ow. the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected Think. on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Oh, that when is a big door. Workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? I don't know. As sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. 
That's funny. <laughs> had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Oh, we'll see about that one. It will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Ooh, that's pretty. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path. I think in the original version of the game, this, this part, the way, right I know I'm tr interrupting him, quite frankly, I don't care, you can read it if you want to know what he's saying, and but was that dead. part, I think changes depending on, like, it's, it's RNG what that part actually looks like. Trophy earned, beat the game. Uh, we're not even close to done. As the loading screen said, the end is never the end. <laughs> or it's the end is never. This never ends. <laughs> but I am going to end this video here. So thank you guys so much for watching this no episode of the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. If you liked it, make sure to push that like button and so far you can't see it anymore. And if you really like to consider subscribing to the channel, I have a suggestion for a uh, an indie game, for some reason the word space in my mind, that you'd like to see on here. Let us know in the comments below. Uh, if you want to check out something, uh, a random other location that our nostalgia train has stopped by, click the link in the bottom right hand corner, the train will take you to that destination. Or if you miss any of the stops on this ride, click the link across my right here and the train will take you there. In the meantime, this train's off to its next destination, but we hope to catch you guys in another ride. Bye.